Sun Life Financial is proud to host this roundtable on financial wellness in partnership with the HR Reporter. It's part of our commitment to thought leadership, which brings together leaders and experts to deliver the best thinking and group benefits, both inside and outside our organization. With an uneven economy and continued uncertainty, finances can be a challenge for many employees, especially when they're faced with considerable debt and a lack of knowledge. This can lead to significant stress in their lives, which is why many employers are adopting financial wellness programs, both to improve employees' health and the bottom line. Canadian HR Reporter recently moderated a roundtable sponsored by Sun Life Financial that brought together a panel of experts to discuss the challenges and possible solutions, such as employee education and how to successfully reach employees and change their behaviours. In this video, the third of a three-part series, panelists talk about some of the successful programs they've implemented, such as workshops, easier retirement options and welcome programs. We started running a financial literacy campaign and what's interesting is, is uh, for instance, access to advisors in certain locations. We actually have a, an appointment list where people can go log into a computer, book an appointment with an advisor. And what's interesting is when we bring the advisor to the people, um, they are generally full. Um, and uh, it's all surrounding the heightened awareness of, of this financial literacy um, for this 30-day period. Um, we've started it for, this is going to be our third year now, and we're seeing gradual increases in, in participation, which tells us that, that it's, it's, we're reaping rewards, but it, it's still a slow tidal shift to make people aware that, it, you know, it's here for 30 days, let's stop, let's take a look at your own situation, and let's take the necessary measures to either attend a presentation, visit an advisor, or things of that kind. Um, we, we did also run a, a series of workshops on cash flow planning, as I mentioned earlier, and, and people that entered the program uh, were, were kind of, you know, uh, didn't quite understand 100% what it was. When they exited the event, they were really surprised and they found it incredibly valuable. Mm -hmm. And through word of mouth, um, we, we started to get more inquiries and a little bit more demand for it. So um, it, it's very interesting to see how so you can have a, a little tidal shift occur uh, through word of mouth as well when there's good experiences through. For us, at the base of it, we've made a real determination to try and keep our plans, um, um, by plans I mean just general programs, as simple as possible. So um, if, you know, we've, of course, come from the DB world many, many years ago, switched to DC, and then actually a couple of years ago made the decision to switch to group RRSP because we felt while there's always a painful transition year that at the end of the day um, employees would be better served with a plan that was that they already had a frequently a general intuitive understanding of just from the external marketplace um, we could make it simpler for ourselves in not having the whole actuarial level of, uh, of, of detail that was and reporting level of detail that's required in a pension plan and it's just they're just simpler plans to understand and of course have a degree of portability that in today's economy employees really value. Um, still maintaining a, and maintaining a very simple set of, um, of investment options including target date plans um, because we know that such a small percentage of employees do have um, uh, a, a keen interest um, and then be you know a lot of knowledge about about the plans that for us to attempt to educate you know our goal is not to move from you know 10% um, highly educated about financial uh, information to uh, to 90% because um, it's uh, it's probably a bit of an elusive <laughs> elusive goal so we think that the best thing we can do is to have plans that are easy to understand easy to join and uh, uh, and can be a set it and, and forget it. And of course, have lots of, of, of resources available if people want to have additional conversations. Something we introduced a couple of years ago um, in partnership with our provider was a really a welcome program. So we wanted to, to, to stem that sort of behavior where there's that, there's that lull or that lack of information or the gap when they start. So the welcome program is for all new employees who join the organization and it's an outreach program whereby our provider reaches out to them and ex walks them through the various nuances of our savings plans, also the benefits as well too. So they're very much engaged from day one in the programs that we offer. Um, and, and knowing sort of what the agent stated that individual is at, this could be somebody who's just entering the workforce, this 
could be somebody who is well established in their career so they have different needs, but knowing that they make the connection right away with the provider and they also have access to additional resources, uh, whether that be investment advice and or uh, a financial advisor as well too. So really making that commitment to them the minute they walk through the door and having an understanding of those resources are available. We've introduced a welcome solution program uh, uh, not too long ago and it's had an incredible impact uh, just because it can be done over the phone, right? So to go back to your, your question about enrollment, uh, there's not a lot of paperwork to to really get confused and, and, and to help, you know, decipher some of the terminology within the enrollment form. And um, what it's translated to is, is in our, we have a bit of a tiered approach in terms of contribution scales. And we have uh, a little over 75% of our population contributing at the, at the maximum. Um, and, and a lot of that was because of the implementation of this reach out program uh, when people are first enrolled. So that way they're in from the, the gates and, uh, and then it's a matter of just furthering their learning. So it can be uh, incredibly powerful if, if the employees have nothing to do but to say yes or no over the phone. Um, and, um, and, and there we go. I think it's that path of least resistance, right? Uh, people are, are, are always looking for that as an easy way to, to get enrolled. If only our, our benefit selection was that easy, right? So yeah. 